Cheers. Sorry. My fault. It's going to take me some time to get back in the gear. Then do it now. Come on. The minute I get a break. Yeah, well, just don't forget about it. Are we all right? Oh, yeah, fine. Fine. I was just coming to find you, look. <laughs> well, I just can't believe that you did it. Well, it's OK. But don't you see it's the best thing? I'll be pleased for me, B. I am, but, you know. Look, the more I think about it, the sure I am. It's Grant's baby, I just know it is, and he wants to be there for both of us. You're married. having a baby by the time I was 20. Well, I always thought I'd be the first. Well, I got fed up of waiting for you and Ricky to get on with it. You didn't even ask me to the wedding. Yeah, I know, but Grant didn't want any fuss. He planned it as a surprise for me. He brought our birth certificates and his divorce papers and all that. I didn't have a clue what was going on. We had to fill in about 10 million forms. But your wedding day and none of your friends were there. Yeah, I know, but it was still special, just the two of us. And we had our night in our bridal suite. Well, I should think so, I know. And he really tried to make it romantic for me. For both of us. And you don't think you're missing out? No. No, I liked it like that. And that Peggy tape knows. Well, she had a few things to say, as you can imagine, but we sorted it out. And Simon and Tony? Yeah, well, I'm going to love telling them. Well, come on, T, if you don't mean that. Yeah, you're right. But if Tony can't be happy for me, then that's his problem. Yeah, I was hurt at the time, but everything's worked out fine in the end, and that's what I'm going to tell him. But what about you? What's been happening while we've been away? Well, you won't know this, but David's gone away. Oh, B. Yeah, yeah, too. Things weren't going so well for him round here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm missing him a lot. But I'm just really glad things have worked out all right for you. Yeah. I think things are going to be all right. I really do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, congratulations are in order. That's right. You're a lucky man. She's a lovely girl. Thanks. I see what you mean, isn't it? Well, you just have to redecorate you. Yeah, but you think you'll let me? Well, this is your own now, isn't it, Mrs Mitchell? <laughs> oh, that sounds really weird. But it's not like it's our own place, is it? Do you have to live here? Well, Grant seems to assume that we will, and I suppose it makes sense. You just have to work on him. Mm. So come on, tell me exactly what happened. How did he propose? Bianca! Oh, come on, I want to know all the details. All right, well, we've been talking all evening about what I was going to do and how he's going to help and get involved and all that. And then we are walking back along the river and he suddenly just said, well, we could always get married, of course. Dave. Well, yeah. And I went, Grant Mitchell, are you proposing to me? Well, I think so, too. <laughs> and then he come round and he took me hand and... He looked into my eyes and said it really seriously. Tiffany, would you do me the honour of being my wife? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Why does look this tingle down my spine? There's something really stupid, like, do you mean it? But then he kept looking at me like that, and then I suddenly realised that I loved him. It's what I wanted. Uh, 